Hey, it's September the 18th, just about to head out and take Gunner to some baseball practice. He's about to get after it. Yesterday, just want to walk you through some of the stuff we did. Uh, went out scouting, went to some deep remote Pennsylvania game lands, uh, an area that I feel strongly about. I'll probably be spending a lot of time in there, especially in November. Uh, we'll see what shows up on the camera that we hung yesterday, uh, see what shows up early season. Um, then, uh, actually, I went to... Uh, pull camera I saw some good bucks headed down towards it and unfortunately I didn't I, I couldn't get any of the pictures off the SD card so that really was unfortunate and we're gonna try to we're gonna hang it back in that same spot today it's on the way to Gunner's practice so we're gonna do that and uh, that yesterday night we uh, took the video cameras out the spotlights and we did some spotlight scouting uh, I saw a few good deer some really cool big small ones I guess you could call them uh, Five point that was pretty much fully mature, and a, a three-year-old four point. And I saw, saw a couple other decent bucks, but nothing, nothing great. Um, and other than that, uh, unfortunately, we uh, we came across a roadkill, a buck we'd been watching for you know for a few weeks now. He's been showing up on trail camera stuff. Uh, nice, nice little six pointer up and comer, right two and a half year old. Uh, it's, it's just unfortunate it happened, you know, right on our property. But you know. That's what happens. And also, I want to talk about a buddy of mine, Tyler Moore. I played uh, played in Harrisburg with him this year. He sent me a couple pictures of some of the bucks that he's going to be going after. Um, one of the bucks is, is a really nice, really nice sized deer. He, uh, he it, it's on his property that he uh, he's going to be hunting in, and hopefully he can get an arrow or a bullet through him. He also sent me a picture of a giant buck that's just up the road. He said about 15 miles. So hopefully that. Uh, that buck gets to chasing and, and then wanders its way down. You never know how far those bucks are going to go, but I don't know, Tyler. Good luck, man. I hope uh, hope it works out for you, and uh, we'll keep you know we'll keep updates on you and let it, let me know what happens. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about uh, is uh, <laughs> a guy. He uh, I won't even say his name or where he's from or from or what, but he sent me a picture last night, and this is probably he was, he was as giddy as it gets when it comes to uh, deer hunting. He said uh, he, he had this buck walk in front of his camera and. You know he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be going after him, so he's pretty excited. Here's a couple pictures of this deer. Uh, more of that story will unfold later on, so I'll just let you know that. So enjoy the rest of this, guys. Uh, if you ever want to comment, go ahead. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have more coming at you soon. So the season is almost upon us. Be pumped. Be very pumped. See you guys. Alright, he's got permission, his full access from the landowner to uh, cross his property and the and, uh, and game lands. I've been walking for about 15 20 minutes now. We're almost to the desired location. So, it's pretty nice up here. It looks pretty, pretty remote. Just telling Cody this is going to be a place where we're going to bring our mountain bikes. <laughs> Ever hunt it. This is one of the great things about Pennsylvania um, on public land. If you get you know some a few food plots at the game commission plants and find things like this, we got turnips, brassicas, um, a little bit of clover mixed with it. It's a good it's a good mix. And this is one of those food plots in an isolated place where a deer would feel really comfortable coming out in daylight hours. Um, we're pretty much a mile from anywhere. So this is pretty exciting, pretty good find. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda mosey around this area real quick and see if anything's popped or nipped off and see where uh, where the deer might be entering here and then kinda follow it back. So this is an exciting time of year. It's pretty much my favorite because you know you get to see what, what deer are back and what deer how big the deer are and stuff. So we're out here scouting it out, having a good time. Put the square on it, that's what we're doing here. This is where that top we were just on starts to come down into the bottom. It's a really good spot. I think it's where all the terrain starts to come together. Down this bottom, some other ridges will come down to it. It's a good place to look for sign. Looks like we found a uh, doe bedding area. Just 
saw that doe. It runs along this bottom. Pretty nice. Somebody's got the right idea. It's a good little spot. A bunch of laurel up ahead of us. We're up on a small top again and just kind of looking at it. It looks like a really good spot. A main, like a main old road. You can see all the way down past that rock and down on that onto that bench. We just found our first active scrape. Now, Cody and I walked way, way back in here in these game lands. We found a big patch of mountain laurel. And I think a lot of deer probably bed in there and head out. There's agricultural fields all the way on the other side. There's a big bottom behind us. We just saw a doe come through here. So, pretty good sign. Finally found a scrape back here. What we saw when we scouted was just trails leading all into this. So I'm gonna hang a, a hybrid camera up here. It's gonna take a picture of this plot the first two hours of the day and the last two hours uh, before before nightfall. And then uh, the infrared will turn on and it'll take a picture. But uh, it'll take a picture when it's on the hybrid mode every, every five minutes. So we can kinda survey the plot, takes a broader view. And uh, what we're planning on doing is uh, on the north side of this, we're going to end up probably hanging a stand for, uh, for November. Hopefully we get some pictures when we come back. As you can see here, me and Adam tried to cam up the camera pretty good so no one could see it. We're on public land so we don't want anyone getting any ideas, maybe still on our camera. So hopefully no one sees it. All right, I've had a couple things stolen in the past. It's unfortunate that we have to worry about people taking cameras, but we always take the right precautions in case, just in case. And we camo it up as best we can, and hopefully that'll do good for it. There's deer everywhere. What's that, buddy? The one's really high. The one in the middle. Yeah. The one in the oh, middle walking away from the ridge. He's real nice. Yeah, he is real nice. What is he? A ten point? Yeah. Eight, maybe. Burr. Not even legal. He isn't legal. Wow, he is a four point. He isn't legal. Jason. Is that him? No. Oh, that's a big... Is he a... That's not the G2 buck, is it? Might be. Go. Or G3? G3 Which buck. Way? Is that him? He's, he's being funny with the one on the left. Pick the light up. Pick the light up. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it's just right right there. there, right there. Stay right there on him. That looks like the G3 buck. Yep. That's yeah, him, stay on him. That's definitely him. So I thought by the side it was the G or it was King. It looked like it. From the side it yeah. looked like it. Yeah, for sure. I don't think he does. Leo, you know what that might be? That might be that big four point we saw out of the tree. Probably. Would be. He doesn't. He's just a big six. He doesn't. That's that four point, Leo. That's that that's that four point. He is a four point. Yeah. Son of a bitch. He's got more points. Yeah. I like that. That's, that's an eight, isn't it? If he's got brow tines, yeah. Stay on him. What's Stay that on one running to the right? Here. Those two are fighting. Oh, are they? The one up Keep top. Keep on right the one on top running. That's Tower Jr. Isn't it? Left, more left, left. That sucks. You didn't get hit that long ago. Man, that does stink. He's today. gonna be a nice buck That's too. That's what I was talking about. Nice buck. 
Son of a gun. That sucks. Remember the big six I was telling you about? That's him. <laughs> He's dead. Shit. Tragedy on the farm. Yeah. Nice.